Last week, Brentwood High held a special assembly to show students the effects of texting and driving. Well, we um, put on this program, the uh, Be in the Zone, Turn Off Your Phone for Brentwood High School, just because there are so many people these days that are in uh, injury accidents or even fatal accidents um, for people who are uh, guilty of distracted driving. So we wanted to put on a, a simulation where kids could actually see what would happen at a crash site. And then we had a very important speaker that came around, you know, to give a powerful message to say, you know, it can happen to you especially from the Rawls who um, spoke of their personal experience of losing a son in an accident due to a distracted driver. I really do believe that it's going to impact a lot more than just one. I know that the scenario base is, is the fun and exciting part to watch and that, that, that the kids can relate to the car wreck and, and they think it's really cool to see. But the most important message delivered here today was by the Rawls. The fact that, the, that a distracted young woman crossed over a median and took their son's life. You know, everybody's got family, and that could have been your family member. And all the cost was was just a few seconds of distracted driving, you know, caused her to cross over and land on his car. It's such a horrific accident that it was so easily preventable in this day and age. One of the reasons that we use this scenario base is because it gives you the ability to both hear it, see it, and almost feel it. It gives you that emotional connection of seeing a friend, somebody that you know covered in blood laying across the hood of a car wreck. And we're trying to get that impact of, for you to realize that it's, it could be you, it could be your friend, and all because of the increased cell phone usage today. Directing a fall play is a rewarding yet difficult task, especially with a record number of students taking part. This year's play is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Having a huge cast is always good because it gives excitement. It's not as huge as it could be, uh, but you have to kind of keep your numbers so that it's not overwhelming the stage and uh, safety. But it's also difficult because you're trying to costume them, you're trying to get everybody doing what you want them to do, and um, so a lot more choreography than you would have normally for a fall play, but I think it's exciting. Tickets are on sale through seatyourself.biz. The show is October 27th, 28th, and 29th at 7 p.m., and October 30th at 2 p.m. Athletes aren't the only ones getting recruited this time of year. Last week at Cool Springs Galleria, dozens of colleges were recruiting students of all levels. Two sophomore girls from Page High School, Abby Stroh and Lilia Darden, talk about why the college fair is helpful. We visited MTSU, uh, Belmont, and Baylor, and it's just kind of helpful because it like kind of gives you an outlook on like where you want to go, or what like you need to do to get to that college or scholarships, and it just kind of gives you information. My favorite one so far has been probably Mississippi State because they just gave us a lot of useful information and the person who did it just explained everything really well. College fairs are important for high school students to visit. Colleges across the country are receiving thousands of applications every single year and it's hard to tell some of the students apart. It's very important for you to be an active participant in your college decision by coming to fairs like this and to seeing your college reps when they visit your schools, giving them a face to put with a name, shaking their hand and meeting them so that you know which questions to ask when you come to the university. That's why it's really important to take a lot of initiative when you're choosing a college and come to events like this. Seniors think the college fair is nice because it has so many options under one roof. One way this has really been helpful for me is to really narrow down kind of which schools have my major and which schools don't and which schools have a track program. Uh, it's really important to me. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really helped me narrow down, figure out what my chances for a scholarship are and figure out what my chances just of getting into the schools have been. I think it's given me more perspective on like how much variety there is, like how many different places you can go, like the different things that are there and even like kind of how similar some of them are where the differentiating factor is only like how far away from home you want to live. So it's kind of nice to see them compared side by side. You know, I feel more informed, maybe not prepared, but um, at the same time, it's like a lot of information's coming in all at the same time, so I don't, it's kind of hard to know what to focus in on. So, but I still think it's good to have like this bank of information, then later on you can like sort through it. I mean, of course, I still have to do all that work, so not prepared yet, get in there. Morgan Yoder, WBHS 9 News.